Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would hit you with a good old fashioned beauty haul. Recently I've been combining both my fashion and my beauty buys into one video but actually I've been buying quite a lot of fashion bits recently so I'm going to be making a whole separate video on that one. Fun fact, this is going to be one of them. It's my striped top for the haul. Um, anyway, but um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with the beauty bits. I've got a whole host of beauty stuff to talk about. Some of the, some of the stuff I have had for a while and I've tested out. Some of it is brand spanking new to me and I haven't tried it so I thought I would give you thoughts on stuff that I have thoughts for. Um, but anyway, first of all, I'm going to start with this. This is my beauty calendar of the year and this is from M&S. As you can see, I've used a couple. Today, I haven't opened mine, so I thought I'd open it on camera. Um, if you want to see what is in the rest of them, make sure you follow me on Snapchat because I am putting up what is in my um, beauty calendar on Snapchat. open the ninth one here for you now because today is the ninth. Let me get my snapchat. I'm on 10% battery. I am so bad at charging my phone, right? Ooh. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, it's wrapped. Oh no, what is it? Oh, it's a nail polish. It is from Autograph. Boop. Just telling them what the shade is. It's cranberry if you're wondering. It's actually a really nice colour. It's like a pinky duochromey goldy colour. I don't know if I wear this over Christmas. Actually, maybe you could. Where shall I start? I think I'm going to start with Beauty Bay because I've got a bit of something to say about Beauty Bay. Um, I think I've ordered stuff off Beauty Bay before, but I want to say I ordered somebody a present off of Beauty Bay like over a year ago. So I haven't really been one of their customers and I had the weirdest customer experience. I'm sure this is an anomaly and it doesn't happen very often. However, I ordered um, a couple of things and half didn't turn up and then I and then they didn't really explain why, and then sent me one. It's, it was weird. Anyway, I'll sort of explain it. Anyway, so I wanted to buy some Zoeva stuff, um, and Zoeva have brought out two new palettes. This one's actually one that's been in their collection for a long time. This is their Cocoa Blend palette, which looks... Oh, I like it. Take the thing off. Which looks a little something like this. This I've like dipped and dabbed into. I haven't properly played with it, but the shadows feel really nice, and it's definitely a colour palette of shadows that I would definitely use. And they also brought out one... They brought out two recently, and the one that I was interested in and that I bought or tried to buy with this one from Beauty Bay was called like Caramel Melange, I think. And yeah, they just didn't send it to me. Um, I think it must have been like out of stock or something and they didn't have it, although obviously it was available to purchase on their website. I think I will try buying off Beauty Bay again, but they're, 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 on, they're on the list, they're on the watch list. I also picked up my first Jeffree Star lipstick. This is in Celebrity Skin. I'm a big Hole fan, so when I saw that he named, well he's named one Doll Parts as well, but um, when I saw that he named one Celebrity Skin, I was like, I have to get it. I'm not gonna swatch this in this video, mainly because I have already filmed a liquid lipstick swatch video where I swatch all of my liquid lipsticks, except for the one I'm wearing today, which we will get onto. It came after I filmed that video. But yeah, um, this is my first one. One thing I will say, I'm not crazy on the smell. It smells like aniseed, like licorice, which if you like that smell, great, but I'm not crazy on it. It doesn't linger, it's just when you put it on, I'm like, great, aniseed. Come to mama. But yeah, so that's something that I would want to know. But I also really like the doe foot on this one. Um, it's like sort of, I don't know if you can see, it's sort of like, got a step in it so it's really easy to hug the lip. So far I have really liked this formula um, and I'm tempted to try some other colours. I really want Leo, not just because I am a Leo but I think that's a really nice nude and a couple other colours as well. So I think I'm going to try some more and get back to you what I think. Because, but so far so good. And the other two bits that I got from Beauty Bay are American um, drugstore products. First from Milani I got the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation which I've heard a lot about. Um, I've got this in the shade 02 which is a problem <laughs> because I'm not a zero two shading and I've heard this does come up quite dark anyway for a lot of people. Um, the issue that I'm having with this is they didn't have zero one available on the website when I bought this and I still decided to buy it so that is not Beauty Bay's fault that I bought this and it doesn't match my skin tone. Yeah, I haven't properly tried this yet because there hasn't been a day where I'm like, let's see how bad of a neckline I will get. Um, so I can't really report on this one. But one thing I can report on, and I have been loving, is the Pro Conceal by LA Girl, and I got this in the shade Porcelain. This is a squeeze brush concealer, kind of like a uh, old school lip gloss, and I have been loving this. Actually, when I did that um, lip swatch video, obviously when I was like wiping my lipstick off, some of my foundation was coming off, and what I was doing is I was using this to go around my lips to, you know, make it 
neaten it up a little bit and um, that's actually really good for that so if you like um, making your lips really stand out and you like highlighting your lips with concealer this is a good one and this is also five pounds both of those are actually really cheap seeing as I mentioned the liquid lipstick that I will not be swatching in my lipstick swatch video um, it's from Smashbox this is in the shade out loud I know this will be available on counters in the UK from January but you can actually already get it on their website so if you really really wanted it you can go and get it now um, anyway it's this sort of this burnt orangey sienna type color and I'm loving it it's very autumnal so I'd be not for this time of year but it's definitely in the family of colors that I love and I, I mean I'm not afraid of wearing like reds and stuff during the day but I don't do it all the time but this I have been wearing during the day no problem like it was a nude and yeah as I said it's what I've got on today and I would really recommend it so far I've been loving this formula um, I I'm gonna hold out until they are available on counters uh, to swatch the other ones and see what they're like but if they're anything like this I would it's great I really do like this this is a actual firm favorite keeping with department store brands I have some stuff from Urban Decay and some stuff from Mac I'm gonna start with Mac I have two lipsticks now this one is actually just a box this is a twig I have no idea I was using it and it's a great color but I have no idea why I put my twig lipstick I'm sure as soon as I film this video it will turn up that tends to be the thing but I do have another one this is the Ariana Grande 2 lipstick uh, the reason that I bought this other than you know it being a nice color and everything is it's to do with their Viva Glam uh, range I have definitely spoken about the Viva Glam range before um, basically um, all the profit it's not even all the profit it's like basically not the tax everything that you spend on this goes towards uh, the Viva Glam charity by MAC um, which helps people with AIDS and it's just a really great cause and you know they're not skimping on quality with the product the product's great as well so if you like the colour I you know it's kind of like you're giving back but you also get a kick-ass lipstick as well anyway so this is the shade it's this like sort of really like vibrant purple colour I mean it's definitely a statement um, it's not like an everyday lipstick although they have a whole range of colours that are core collection that you can get all year round um, and then they also have like a bunch of celebrity um, collaborations and this is one that I particularly liked and yeah it's a, it's a beautiful colour I implore you to have a little look at the Viva Glam collection because I just think it's a great course and it's a great product so and as I said I have some Urban Decay stuff I actually have two base bits from Urban Decay uh, first of all I have their all nighter foundation which is brand spanking new and it's what I've got on my skin today but I've got to be honest this is like the second or third time that I've tried this and I'm not crazy on it I've got to be honest like it just I think I still have hope because it's not like the most worst foundation I've ever tried but I've been what I've done every time is I've tried it just with my hands and just like onto a bare face because I just want to see how the foundation performs by itself without adding in any other factors um, and I don't know if it'd be better with a brush or like mixed with a primer or stuff it doesn't like sit on the skin like cakey but it sort of I, d I don't like how it blends into the skin so I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit more that all being said um, when I first got the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I didn't like it and then it sat in my stash for a couple of months and then I pulled it back out and I loved it so I don't know if it's to do with the time of year um, the, maybe this isn't working with my skin right now um, it's not like it's a bad quality product it's just not working for me right now is how I'm feeling about it so with that being said um, I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit more but so far I'm, I'm not crazy on it I've got to be honest gotta be honest with you however I do have another product from uh, Urban Decay and that is their color correcting fluid in lavender I haven't actually tried their concealer from this range which I'm assuming is the same formula um, I used to have the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Claire neutralizer in their lavender color and I decided to try a different one from a different brand and so far I have enjoyed this what I like doing is I like putting it sort of like here on my face like kind of like going a little bit under my eyes and up here it just really like brightens the face um, and I really like like how lavender concealers work on me so yeah I bought this one so far I've been enjoying it I go through phases of using color correcting products um, I don't think they're necessary for everyday use it's one of those things with color correcting where you will notice the difference but I doubt anybody else will but good job that you put your makeup on for yourself so fuck everyone else Ooh. 
Ooh. I told you there's a lot of beauty stuff. I, I, I don't think I filmed a haul in like two months and I have been a big baller shop caller and just spend my money all on beauty products. Anyway, so I have some stuff from Cult Beauty and I'm waving it around right now. This is the Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadows Palette. And this is what I have on my eyes today. Um, if you'd like to see like a more full depth review of this with swatches and everything, there's definitely something I'm happy to do because I know that this is a very talked about palette. And it's also over 50 pounds, so it's not cheap either. Um, one thing I'll say right away, I'm not crazy on the packaging. Like this is like, cheap as fuck you know and I, I know that you're paying for the shadows but also if you're paying over 50 pounds for an eyeshadow palette you want your product I, I feel like this just isn't secure and I feel like if I traveled with this I, w I wouldn't I wouldn't feel comfortable traveling with it like I feel like it would like get fucked up somehow um and also there's no mirror as you can see hey let's talk about the product inside again this is a product that I've tried a couple of times I haven't um properly road tested it yet um, one thing I will say with the sort of textured shadows they are like nothing I've ever tried before they're like kind of wet which makes you think they're like a um, cream shadow which they're not at all it's they're really hard to describe uh, without you touching them I have actually got I can tell you what I've got on my eyes today I have got trust fund that's the sort of texture shadow that I've got on I've got henna through my crease and underneath my eye um, a bit of moon dust in my uh, inner corner and I had used bay like all over my eyelid to begin with as like a base color this palette I it's definitely the hues that I use like, on a regular basis and I definitely think as it's party season um, I will probably be using these texture shadows more um, definitely what I have noticed if you want the fullest impact with these use your finger to apply them um, and that's what I did today I just dabbed my finger in and dabbed it on um, my eyelid and it worked fine I think if you use a brush it tends to ruin the magic of them so I would definitely yeah as I said use your fingers in regards to the other shadows they're also really nice as well and really easy to blend so it is a good palette um, but I do need to play with it a little bit more before I give my seal of approval and I also bought some hair products from uh, Cult Beauty as well and they're from the brand Way. this is a brand that I have definitely heard a lot about on the internet and it was something that I wanted to try I ran out of my hair oil which was by Orbay um, so I wanted to try a different one so I need I was in the market for a hair oil so I thought why not try um, Way because I heard really good things about it this is the I quite like this hair oil actually it it's like um one of those hair oils which helps dry your hair um, I've had a couple that have been like really hard to explain like you put it in the bottom of your hair and then just magically your hair is like dries quicker it's weird anyway so far I've been enjoying this I need one pump and that does the ends of my hair well and yeah so far I've been enjoying this and it smells really nice and I also picked up the way the way the way wave spray that's fun to say which is basically a salt spray without the salt um, again this is something I have used a bit as you can see um, but I need to play with it a little bit more but so far I have been enjoying it I've got waves in my hair today shall we put some in you can put some in when it's wet or dry let's pull a little bit in it sort of gives you that beachy undone Hang on, I'm just looking in my mirror but yeah no I like it at the time Colt Beauty were doing an offer where you would get their repair shampoo for free so I've also got that and as you can see I've been using it there's a big old dent in it um, and so far I've been enjoying this I was in the market for a sort of restorative shampoo and it's been nice I don't know if I'd necessarily spend the 20 quid to buy it again um, but it is nice um, it doesn't lather up like a normal shampoo it does lather up a little bit but it's definitely a lot more like posh lather than ostentatious lather if you know what I mean anyway but yeah it's been good as I said I didn't buy this this was like a gift with purchase um and I'm happy to use it and I will use it all that merrily but I don't know if I'd repurchase this one whereas the styling products that I did buy I probably would repurchase and last but not least I made another Colourpop order um I believe in my last haul I mentioned Colourpop and I loved it so much that I bought some more again it has been brought to my attention that you can buy some Colourpop stuff on Amazon in the UK if you didn't fancy doing the whole shipping thing and then being hit with your customs charge um but they are also more expensive that way so you know swings around out if you if you want to just order one product probably go via Amazon but if you wanted to order a bunch which is what I do like I bought by um, then you know I would go through Colourpop anyway um, so I bought some eyeshadows some lipsticks 
and a blush as well. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadows, which are these two here. Um, when I mentioned my previous um, purchases from them, I mentioned a limited edition collection, um, which I felt really bad because I have been loving it. I thought it was fantastic, but obviously you can't get hold of it anymore. So I wanted to pick up the colours which I thought were similar to see if they were, and they kind of are. What I do like about Colourpop, they do have a really nice range of colours. Um, so for any sort of person, regardless of what type of eyeshadow that you like, they definitely will be able to cater for you. I picked up Elixir and Melrose. Um, Elixir is, tell me what finish you are. Elixir is a matte finish and it is sort of like this terracotta orangey colour. Can you tell that that's my kind of jam? Um, but yeah, so I picked that up and I thought that was kind of the most similar to Duh in the Genim Limited Edition collection. Um, and this one is definitely more sort of, like that one's a bit more like tan orange, whereas this is a little bit more like brownie orange um but they're similar and then i also picked up melrose which is, again is another matte shadow um which is sort of more of a still this is definitely still brown as opposed to red but it's like a deeper red than elixir i feel like they are very similar colors with uh elixir being the sort of lighter one and um Melrose being the darker one, but I think they do actually work really well together as well. Um, I must admit, I haven't properly used them. I, again, it, I've used them a couple of times um, because I am just so enamoured with the Gen M collection ones, but they're nice and I really like the quality of them and they're really cheap. And um, one thing I also did is I bought a blush from them um, and I bought this kind of hoping that it'd be basically a big pan of the Super Shock eyeshadow formula um, because um, in my last haul I picked up a highlighter and it was basically the same formula. However, it's not a bad thing, just something that I've noticed. I picked up the Super Shock Cheek in Quarters, which is a satin finish, which is again sort of... Let me get Elixir. Which, because I'm just so in love with this formula, I thought it's like kind of similar to Elixir and it would just be in a bigger pan. Um, but the formula is different. I haven't actually tried it on my eyes, so I can't tell you. But like, it is, yeah, it's different. I might actually put this on my cheeks right now because I know I haven't put on any blush. Well, let me grab a mirror. Anyway, so that is what it looks like on the cheek. Like, the formula isn't like drastically different, but you can definitely feel it in the formula that is different. Um, and I'm sure it's probably eye safe, I should imagine. But yeah, so I also picked that up, that blush, and I think I will also use it as a blush, as it was intended. But yeah, so I picked that up. I also picked up some more lipsticks. Now the liquid ones in this are in that lip swatch video. So again, that's why I haven't got them on. But I'm gonna start with one of the lippy sticks. This is one of their sort of more traditional lipsticks, but they come in like a pen format. This is in the color Hotline, which I believe is in their Persuade collection at the moment. I think it's like a collection that is gonna stick around, but it's like in a uh, collection at the moment. And it's sort of like this more neutral brown color. I have been wearing this quite a lot. And I do quite like it. Again, it's easy to apply. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, I do like this and it's a nice easy one um, because I think it's definitely more brown. So if you're into that sort of like nudie brown color, I like this one. I think it's nice. And I also did buy three of their liquid lipsticks, two of which are in the ultra satin formula and one which is in the ultra matte formula. I'm gonna start with that one. This is in the color Times Square. Um, I prefer, now that I've got this, I will use this, but I definitely prefer the Ultra Satin Lip formula. This one is definitely more of a traditional liquid lipstick, like it's thicker, it stays on, but you can definitely feel it on your lips more. And it's nice, and I do like it, but I do prefer the Ultra Satin Lip formula, so if you're like, oh, you're stuck between... Hello. If you're like stuck between two colours and you're like, should I go Ultra Matte or Ultra Satin, I would say go Ultra Satin. Um, and speaking of Ultra Satin, oh by the way, that's in the colour Times Square. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then I have two, one of which is from their standalone collection and one is from their Hello Kitty uh, Colourpop collection. The Hello Kitty one I got in the shade Tiny Chum, which is their sort of neutral colour in the range. I think they have a couple of pinks as well, like brighter pinks. But yeah, this is sort of like a nice neutral colour and it's got like the Hello Kitty bows on the lid and it's, I mean, yes, I was attracted to it because it was part of the Hello Kitty collection, but it's also just a really nice colour in general, a really nice neutral shade that you can wear all day, every day. And then, kind of in contrast to that, I picked up the colour Cozy, which is this bright red colour. I have picked up another red from Colourpop last time, but that was definitely more of a deeper red, whereas this is a brighter, sort of more tomatoey, admittedly summery red, but I wanted to try out. And yeah, this colour is actually really, really nice. So yeah, whoo! That is everything. I told you I bought a lot of beauty products. I probably should be buying Christmas presents, but I can't help myself. Anyway, um, let me know if there's anything that you wanted to see more in-depth reviews on or blog posts. Leave those down below. Also, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Go on, I donkey dare you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye!